children at heart. How's everyone today? Have you ever needed more time? More time to do something. You, you may need it more time to play on the playground. No, Mom, I'm not ready to go. I'm having so much fun swinging. Have you ever needed more time to finish a pile of homework? Ooh, I don't know how I'm going to ace this test. Ooh. If only you just had more time. Sometimes we huff and puff. Oh, Got to get more time. In today's lesson, Joshua, he needed more time. But Joshua did something different. He didn't just ask, hey, hey Lord, are you listening? Because a brother here needs a little more time. No, he didn't do that. He didn't whine either. Oh, come on, Lord, I need more time. Nope, didn't do that. He prayed. He prayed. Joshua prayed for more time. That's right, prayer. Joshua was a man who believed in God's word. He was the leader of the Israelites, and he knew that God had promised them a land. See, boys and girls, when God promised you something, no one, no matter how hard they try, and even if they're a king, they can't take it from you because God promised it to you. So the five king of Amorites, they were mean and vicious. <laughs> I can't wait to get that land. <laughs> they probably did that. But no matter what, God said, I'm going to deliver the kings and that land into your hands, Joshua. And he did. So Joshua and he gathered all his buddies and they began to fight or a big war came out. And they fought and they fought. But hours later, they were still fighting. Even though they were winning, they were still fighting. God made sure that Joshua and his army was going to win, so he began to throw large hailstones at the enemies. And yeah, the battle was looking really, really good at that point. And then Joshua said, I still need more time, but what can I do? He prayed. Remember, he didn't whine. He didn't just ask. He prayed. Lord, give me more time. Help the moon, help the sun stand still right here. And guess what? It did. The sun and the moon stopped. He had more time to defeat the enemy. And he won the battle. Yippee! <laughs> Well, they probably didn't say yippee, but they were happy that they won the battle. <laughs> Prayer is powerful, boys and girls. See, many people think their swords or their guns are powerful. No, no, no. Not when it comes to prayer. God gives us that. So right now, I want you to say, repeat after me. Can you point to yourself? That's right. I can pray. Oh, I actually want you to say it like you mean it. Let's try that one more time. Go ahead, point to yourself. And in a big, booming voice, I can pray. That's right. Boys and girls, you can pray. And children at heart, you can, you can pray too. Prayer is powerful. Isn't that right? All right. Let us pray. Dear God, Help me to use prayer as my weapon of choice. Amen. See you later, boys and girls.